lovelies, Kyla here, back again for another quick little video. So I just fi finished filming the uh, first Fountain Pen Friday here on my channel, a new series that I'm starting for 2020. And I realized that I mentioned I would talk about uh, inks and then I didn't. So I thought, let me do a quick short video talking about inks. It's going to be fast, maybe a little rambly, but I'm going to keep it really fast and really short. So I shared the, I showed these sample inks, these little sample vials of inks um, that I, I often buy, I will go and buy a lot of samples so I can see if I like an ink before I commit to like a full bottle of ink. Right. So I showed these Franklin Kristoff bottles um, and I showed these little guys here. So the way that I kind of keep mine, so this is one of my favorite little things. Um, this came from the company Ink Journal and I will link to them below. Um, it's a case guard and it's actually, I pr I'm pretty sure this is for ammunition for, a, for guns maybe. But what better way to repurpose than to put your little ink vials in them. Isn't that awesome? So, um, I will, in one of the Fountain Pen Fridays, I will talk about how I, uh, what I do with my little vials, how I sort of uh, work with them, how I do my little swatching on the top here so that I can know really quickly what color I'm looking at, um, and then just talk a little bit about that. I also have a whole collection of inks here that I... Uh, kind of keep and I have my favorites and I have some that I'm like eh, I could I didn't need to buy a whole bottle of that and that's why I started buying actually this ink is it this one yeah this ink is actually the reason I started buying samples I bought this little bottle of ink and this green was not the green I thought I was getting right and so it's way lighter uh, than I had anticipated but you know sometimes we those those of us in the fountain pen community sometimes we buy inks for the bottle like I did I have to admit I bought this for the bottle it was just such a cute little bottle I loved it and I was like and I like that color I'm gonna try it right um, the you know there are certain inks I buy for art um, because they're waterproof like these two are waterproof inks this is a gray sketch ink and this is a document black ink so I'll be talking about all the different kinds of inks and different inks that you can use in your pens uh, and some of the brands that I really love obviously I don't have every brand this is I have two of these containers the other one um, I don't have here on the table I didn't think we needed to show all of them but um, There are some inks that are like my absolute favorites that I really love. And then some inks that I'm like, yeah, these are really nice inks, really cool inks. And then there are some inks that are like, you know, collectibles. Like this uh, 1670, um, this is the Emerald of Shavor. And it's just a beautiful, um, I'll have to show you, it's just sort of sheen on that. It is a beautiful, beautiful ink. And so, um... I have a little, and you know, I'll be sharing little things like my little ink journals, right, where I keep my little fountain pen sort of inventory and ink journal. Um, and I think that Emerald of Chavoy is probably in this book. But so, so my point is, there are a lot, there are as, as many fountain pens that, that there are in the world, there are like three times that many inks that you can choose from. And I used to be someone who would put a different color ink in a pen. Um, different than what the pen color was simply because I wanted to um, have a little bit of surprise but then I got to the point where I had so many pens and so many different inks that I started matching the ink to the color uh, because it just became I would write with a pen and be like oh my god that's not the right color that I want right now um, so I have since stopped doing that and I'm just looking for that that ink because I really want to show it to y'all but I will do a proper video where I get to show you all the different colors of the inks and the difference between like a sheening ink and a shimmer ink and a shading ink and all the different things. So we will talk a little bit about all of that in true Kyla fashion. Um, so I am, I don't consider myself an expert, but I am a collector and which does it. The two don't go hand in hand. They don't, you know, one is not inclusive of the other. 
Um, but there are certain things that I feel like I am well qualified to talk about and share with you all because I have been using them for so long or have extensive experience with whatever it is. So this little journal keeps me kind of straight with all the all the pens and all the inks um, that I have. And I am so bummed that I cannot... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Yeah. So I will share some inks and things with you all as we, as we experience this Fountain Pen Friday together. Um, and then there are certain inks that are just, you know, amazing, amazing inks. Um, like here's a beautiful bottle. I love these bottles by Ackerman. Um, they are gorgeous. This little top portion fills up and there's a little marble in there that stops this flow and so all you have is this part that's in here and you don't have to dip your pen all the way down into this and you can and you don't you can get the last of the ink because all you do is you turn it upside down like this you let that ball flow back in and you still get ink in there and so it's um, I just think that's an ingenious sort of uh, an ingenious bottle and then you know you got standard bottles that have the shapes they have and when these bottles uh, get empty I still keep them and I use them for other kinds of inks like dip pen ink and, and other things so there's a whole culture around ink um, some people love their inks more than they love their pens I'm not one of those people I definitely love my pens more than my inks uh, but I do also have a lot of inks I love inks that I can buy in a set um, Let's see. Oh, I think the other, th there was like six of these in a set. Um, and I think they're in the other container. But, you know, I pay attention to things like that. Like, you know, the inks that, these three are the same. Nope. So inks that come, you know, these are, these are some really special inks. Um, the shimmer and the shine in these is just ridiculous. Like, really it's see this like shading sort of ink there so I will talk more about inks as we move through fountain pen Friday I just wanted to do a quick um, sort of hey look at this uh, here are some inks to let you know that I am gonna be talking about inks on fountain pen Friday sharing with you some of the some of my favorites and talking about why and some of my not so favorites um, and then I'll just share with you that this was the very first bottle of ink I ever purchased. It is Raven Black by Levenger and it is still one of my absolute favorite colors. It is a deep dark black um, almost like India ink but fountain pen friendly and it is just gorgeous and I have had this bottle since 1998 I think. So that's a pretty long time and there's I don't know if you can hear it. There's still a little bit of ink in there. Probably about probably about that much left in the bottle um, so I you might imagine that I kind of covet that one just a little bit and then you saw me show these uh, Franklin Kristoff colors uh, of ink and the difference is this one is in an eyedropper so a lot of their pens a lot of the, uh, Franklin Kristoff pens and not just theirs there's some other brands but you can actually just drop ink into the body of the pen sorry drop ink right into the body of the pen and so this little eyedropper makes it easier to do that and I will be showing that as well on Fountain Pen Friday and you never know I might pop in from time to time and do some other fountain pen related videos on other days of the week but for now we're gonna keep it and call it Fountain Pen Friday and I can't wait to share with you all my love of fountain pens, fountain pen inks and all of the joys um, that I get from them and also talk to you a little bit about how you can use fountain pen inks whether you have a fountain pen or not okay all right lovelies thank you for being here make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe so that you know the next time I load up a video I'll see you all on the other side bye